What's up, good people of YouTube? Hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. I know Christy and I, we certainly did. Uh, this video right here is actually Christy and I's first video of fishing with subscribers. And so we are planning to do more of these and Christy and I, we do love the community, um, you know, all the comments, all the positive emails and everything. So keep those coming. Also, if any of y'all have a fishery that y'all would like to feature on this YouTube channel, Texas, want to hear from my Texas people, Louisiana, Alabama, anywhere, then Christy and I, we would be interested to come out there and fish with y'all. If you got a spot that's dialed in, you've got some good red fishing, trout, flounder, anything saltwater fishing, and you think it'd be a good time, you think that it would be awesome for Chris and I to feature it on this YouTube channel, then hit us up, drop us a comment, send us an email, you know where to find us, and Chris and I, we might come out there and do some fishing with you to feature a new fishery on this YouTube channel. Uh, but this was the video. Uh, Christy and I, we shot, we took out some subscribers fishing. It um, was an awesome new fishery that we checked out. It's called Mob Jack Bay. It's in the middle lower part of the Chesapeake Bay and it's got an awesome trout fishery. So I'm gonna go ahead, roll the camera. You guys keep hitting us up and hopefully we can do more of these fishing with subscriber videos. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so today we are here in the Mob Jack Bay and uh it's super beautiful out this is the chesapeake bay right here and it is extremely flat and today we are fishing with popping corks and uh we're going to be working a combination of shrimp and swimming mullet uh this time of year the shrimp uh are definitely one of the kind of biggest forms of uh bait forage for the fish we're going after redfish trout maybe some flounder uh, so today we're gonna go with kind of like actually this bubblegum flavor in the mob jack works really well That's the thing with the popping cork is when you see it go under That's why you like just tighten your line and let it kind of bow up uh, Like I don't know. It's weird. You kind of let the pole do the work, but you do have to keep it tight, you know, and um, Try not to point your rod right at it Just just hold your rod tip like this, you know, so you get kind of a good bend in it if I was a betting man, I would say that the way this wind and current is coming around this uh, point here, this this point right here looks good. See that out there, TJ? That see those little say that big fish or something. You're good. Yeah, it's gonna work anywhere. There we go. Oof. Yeah. Nice trout. Cast up in there. Come in here. He's tagged. Check that out. Alright, y'all, so here we are. Wow. Jeff needs to contain his fish. Anyway, we're out here on the Mob Jack Bay and Jeff just pulled up a fish that is tagged. His very first trout. Check it out. There it is. <laughs> Mr. Vampire Fish. Yeah. Yeah, tagged. How cool is that? Tagged fish. You get a free t-shirt from the state. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna call this one in. But that's what we're out here for. We just want the bigger ones. And uh, we're actually out here with our buddies, uh, TJ and Michelle. So uh, we're gonna put them on some trout. What's up, Michelle? Hey. <laughs> this girl already caught two trout, right? Within her first like yeah. 10 casts. Yep. This girl's slaying them. First time fishing popping corks. And uh, so anyways, yeah, we're out here and- um, It's a healthy looking trout right there. Yeah, definitely call it in. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Show sure enough, I'm gonna let him go. Y'all, I'm gonna put this put this trout back and vampire trout. Let's catch more of these dudes. Yeah. Oh, here you go. All right, little trout, get in the boat. Nice. That's a pretty good one. 
All right, y'all, I just picked up this nice little speck right here. And of course, on the popping cork, uh, kind of switching between that and the spoon. So we've already landed a ton of these today, uh, just in the last hour in the boat. It's been a blast out here, cast after cast, just rolling in these guys. Um, just a really fun fighting fish here in the Mob Jack Bay, if you guys have not been out this way. You definitely should check out these flats. Uh, they are just stacked right now, and it's only gonna get better this month. So definitely come out, um, and it is just, this is just like the best time of the year to catch these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and release them, catch some more. All right, y'all, so uh, this is our second spot that we're coming on, and the first spot we did okay. We caught probably like seven or eight fish total on the boat, and uh, just wanna let you guys know kinda uh, my thought process into going to some of these fishing spots. This is a new, this is a totally new fishing area, fishery for Christy and I. So what we're thinking is we've got the mouth of the bay out there, and this is kinda right at the mouth of the mob jack, mm -hmm. and so we've got some riprap right there. We've got some laydowns. I don't know if you can see that. Some timber up there. And we've got some grass, uh, grass edges up there. And we've got more riprap up there. So this looks like a spot that we feel confident is going to hold fish. And we're going to get to fishing and hopefully put some fish in the boat. Tally ho. Ooh, oh, that's a good drum. woo! That's nice. Drum. Oh man, he's pulling. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's There's a good a fish. Drum. Oh no. That's a good fish. I think it's a striper. Woo! Yeah, it's a striper. I'll take it. Yeah, y'all cast them. Nice. Dang, babe, make sure you get him. Yeah, just keep this coming. Get him. Sorry. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. All right, you guys, check out this striper I just pulled off. Uh, we are just fishing the shoreline right now. There's a ton of laydowns and riprap, and uh, just this guy actually just hit uh, the popping cork, which was a lot of fun. I didn't know if it was a striper or a puppy drum. He gave me a pretty good run out there for my money, so. If you guys feel confident there's fish there, that probably daggone is. <laughs> yep, it's just about putting in your time and come out with one of these guys. So we're gonna go ahead and let him go. And he's off. He gone. Another little trout. Peace. All right, y'all, so we came across this point Eh, not too bad, probably 10 inches. <clears throat> so we came across this point and we've got this outgoing tide and it is just ripping, but we've got eddies on both sides of it. So, and also we have grass up along the point, which, and there's even like submerged grass. And um, this is like prime time speckled trout territory. So, We've just been ambushing, or we've been slaying these speckled trout here. They've been ambushing bait. Oh, there he is. That feels a little better. Doubled up. Nice. That's a solid. That's a good one. Yeah. Not too shabby. We'll take it. See ya. So anyways, you guys, so we've got this nice point right out here and we've got submerged grass and we've got a nice grass line, grass island. Speckled trout love grass. Nice. Oh yeah. Right in the grass. Get out of the grass. Come out of here. Bigger trout. That's the spot right there yeah. where TJ's at. This is a, that's a fat speckled trout. Oh, All these babies. Ooh. He is fat. Fatty. Yeah, he's a fat one. 
Didn't you know that? Ew! Oh, gross. Wow. No, she definitely is pregnant. Look at that. Cool. Did you want to get any more on the bed? All right, y'all. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed that quick little video of the Mob Jack Bay. If you guys are in the Mid-Atlantic, Virginia area, then I would highly, highly recommend checking it out because it definitely is one of the top trout fisheries in the state of Virginia. So if you guys aren't familiar with it, definitely check it out, definitely give it a look. Um, also, Christy and I, we are gonna be doing more of these Fishing With Subscriber videos. Thank you for TJ and Michelle for coming out and joining Christy and I for our crazy shenanigans. Also, if any of y'all have a place that you would like Christy and I to feature on this YouTube channel, maybe a place that you, know, you feel like would be a good fit for inshore saltwater fishing. Maybe you got a good redfish spot anywhere from Virginia, even maybe Texas. So I would love to hear some more love from the Texas people. Christy and I, we, we really, really want to get down there. Uh, we're probably like planning a trip, maybe like winter time ish for Texas. Uh, but you know, Christy and I, we love getting out fishing with y'all. So that being said, Thank you all for watching. Keep the comments coming. Keep the emails coming. Um, and get out there and catch some fish. All right. Peace out.